testing sound. Can you speak for me? Hello, everybody. Thanks. Hey, guys. Uh, this is Steven here with my special guest, Greek33. And we are on Infrared's uh, wonderful Minecraft server here to show you a redstone tutorial. Um, and this is one that I think you guys are really going to like because it's very practical. And I hope that you'll be able to understand exactly what's going on. Um, before we start, we'd really like to thank Infrared for um, letting us play on the server and letting us do a uh, tutorial on here. So, Greek, why don't you um, show us what we're looking at here? You might want to take off your armor before you do it. Alright. But, basically, um, this little building here uh, a couple people made, and I did some redstone for it that we want to show you. Uh, it's a it's a fighting arena, so you um, kind of you go in and you get suited up with armor and weapons, and you go in to fight monsters. And we did some cool stuff with the doors and the armor that you'll get to see. So basically, the player comes in, and you can't exit this way. You can only exit through death or victory. <laughs> and so you'll come in, and you'll hit this button right here. Do you want to show them? You hit the button, and then these dispensers yeah. uh, shoot out armor and a sword, and then it opens the door. And let's see. So you go. Um, do you want to go through the door for me? You go through the door to fight the monsters. And once you go through, it closes behind you, so you can't, you know, chicken out and run away. The only way to get out is uh, the other way by killing all the monsters, which we haven't quite put in yet. But we have a couple ideas, and we'll show um, a video about that. But yeah, you can see no matter how many times he hits the exit button, he can't get out until he goes out the actual exit. And another thing is, uh, let me. Let's see, if we hit this button here, so we'll pretend I didn't get the armor. Oh, you, you triggered the drawer. <laughs> Can you come around? Sorry, bro. <laughs> no problem, no problem. Uh, yeah, hold on. Here, get off the plate so I can just show them myself. Oh, there you go. Okay, so when you hit the button the first time, ignore the armor. This is for demo purposes. Um, oh, come on now. Okay, so the, when you hit the button, the door stays open. And no matter how many times you hit the button you can't uh, get more armor if the door is already open. So this is nice because if you're in there fighting, or you can't get a bunch of sets of armor and then go in there and fight, you know what I mean? And if you're in there, you can't come back out to get more armor. So it's a really, really cool system, and it is the most basic redstone you can imagine, and I'm going to show you that. All right, so let's go over here and do a little demo area. Um, we're able to accomplish all of this with one little device called the RS Nor Latch. Oh, Greek, I can let you out if you need to. Oh, okay. An RS Nor Latch is basically your simplest form of memory, okay, where memory is uh, an ability to store data, okay. So our RS Nor Latch, I'm going to show you how to build it and then explain what it does. Basically, we're going to take a 3x3 three three area with um, two blocks of any kind, put redstone torches like so, and redstone wire, oops, like so here. And then we're going to wire in some buttons and some doors to kind of show you what things look like. Can you... Oh, hold on. Okay. So we'll put a line here and a line here going into these blocks. And these schematics are available on the wiki. So, And then we'll... These are going to be our inputs. Going into the block is an input. And then these out here will be our outputs. So coming out is an output. And um, you can take these from... Oops. From this junction right here and let's see here so now let's hook up our inputs I'm gonna use pressure plates to demonstrate but you can use anything um, let's see oh yeah I already have some and uh, so what this does is oh you good okay so the memory cell holds one bit of information and a bit is your simplest value that you can store in a computer it's either a one or a zero which corresponds to an on or an off in, in Minecraft, or in the real world, I guess. And uh, so each of these buttons sets one of the values. So actually, we don't really need both of these doors. We'll just use one door for demonstration. You can hook up two doors, but you only need one. So right now, our door is open. You see the po positive line going into the door? So our memory cell has a 1 in it. Okay, And it, it got a 1 in it because we stepped on oops, the other plate right here. So this is our, our set plate. That's where the S comes from in RS NOR. So we'll, we'll write this down here. Set. So when you hit the set plate, the circuit goes to 1. 
But no matter how many times you hit the set plate, nothing new happens, because it's already holding one. So it can't hold, you know, more one, it's just one. Now this plate is called reset. It's the R in RS NOR. When you hit the reset plate, it sends a zero into your memory circuit. So now it's holding a zero. No, ma no matter how many times we jump on it, it can't hold more zero. Okay? So this is your your memory cell that you can expand to make you know large amounts of memory or different kinds of memory. And what we did was we put one of these underneath our dungeon here. And when you first come inside, you hit your button, and this is the set on the RS NOR. It sets the memory to one. And that line, the button is connected to the memory cell and to all the dispensers by just running a line like this on top of them, okay? And so that triggers all the dispensers, and then the memory cell is also hooked up to the door. So it has, the button has three um, outputs. The memory cell, or sorry, it has, has, sorry. The button goes into um, the dispensers, and it goes into the memory cell. Then the memory cell outputs to the door, okay? And, um, or I guess to the dispensers, because the button doesn't go to the dispensers, or else you could push it a bunch of times. So just for clarity, button goes into memory cell, memory cell goes into dispensers, and into door, okay? Now, that's our R, or sorry, our S, the set. Set is this button, and then the reset is this plate right here. And all the plate connects to is the memory cell and the door. So if we hit the reset, the door closes, and then the um, the memory cell goes to zero. Okay. So inside here, we would have lots of mobs and cool stuff like that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's it's very simple. It's a cool little application though of memory because people always ask like, oh, well, what can I do with this? Well, this is what you can do with memory. Um, you want to make sure for your reset plate that you make it so they can't walk around the plate. And uh, you can't put the plate immediately against the door or else you can, you know, go back and forth on it. And what we did is we protected this area so people can't use a redstone torch like this. Oops. Like this to just open the door, you see? Um, I can because I'm an admin. But yeah, this is a quick little tutorial on this. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, I can't give you this, uh, the download for this, but um, if you need help building it, let me know. We'll, we'll figure something out. Uh, and yeah, definitely subscribe to Infrared. His YouTube account is InfraZoom. Uh, he's a great guy, but don't leave him stupid comments or anything. And yeah, have a good one.